Hi everybody and welcome back. It's Dr. Matthew Hurt here again with Center Chiropractic in Bullsburg, Pennsylvania, just outside State College and Penn State University. And today I want to show you and demonstrate a neck adjustment, a cervical adjustment for you. But first I want to thank and introduce my friend Angie Wallace to you guys. Thank her for being here as such a patient supportive model for me and so I can show you guys a neck adjustment and really introduce her because she's a holistic nutritionist in town. She and her partner Monica are the trusted authorities in this area, um, uh, this region really for uh, holistic nutrition. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but nutrition has been a difficult thing for me to sort out at times. Questions about, you know, should I be eating this? Should I be eating that? Is pre-processed food really as bad as they make it out to be? Um, should I buy organic for this or not? Does it matter what nutrients supplements, vitamins should I be taking? It, it, even with the internet, you can find a lot of conflicting information. So nutrition is an extraordinarily complex area in my experience to try and find accurate information on. They are great not only at helping you answer those basic questions and really get that in line for yourself, but they have great diagnostic tools for assessing whether you've got allergies or deficiencies in certain areas. You really are what you eat. I know it sounds like a silly childhood thing, but you really are what you eat. And I really see the way that plays out in my practice uh, with the people that I'm treating. People who don't eat as well don't heal as quickly. So they're a great resource for that. Angie is a great friend and I really appreciate she's here and I hope you guys uh, look her up. So the neck adjustment is an adjustment a lot of people can appreciate for symptomatic relief. I think most people have had a muscle spasm or a twinge in their neck or notice tension from just sitting at a computer day after day. But these adjustments can be really powerful and beneficial for other kinds of health problems. Those big nerves that come out between the vertebra in your neck branch, just like they all do, and then a lot of the new nerves they form go up into the skull or feed the area in the neck or dive down into the upper torso. So these neck adjustments, not only in practice have I seen people get benefit with high blood pressure, ringing in the ears, chronic ear or sinus infections, headaches and migraines, regular common stress headaches and migraines, thyroid issues, problems swallowing, carpal tunnel, um, heart, um, irregular heartbeat, things like that. But there's a tremendous amount of research that establishes that connection as well. That's on my website all over the place. If you're really curious about that, I mentioned some of it in other, my uh, other videos in more depth. The point is, is that these adjustments aren't just about feeling good. They can really help you function better and have, if you have other challenges, health challenges in more of visceral or, or organ realm, you may see benefit with those as well. The other thing I think it's important to acknowledge here about neck adjustments is that there's a lot of controversy, there's a lot of rumor, there's a lot of misinformation and anxiety about neck adjustments. I mean, here's somebody that even if you do know well, but especially if you've just met them, they have their hands wrapped around your neck, and then you've you know, seen these strange things and heard people say strange things about bad things happening with a neck adjustment. I'm gonna address that in great detail in one of my other videos about chiropractic. So if that's really a concern for you, I encourage you to go check that out. The only other thing I wanna say about this at, at, at this point right now, which I think is an extraordinarily significant fact, is that the average doctor's malpractice insurance in 2005 was around $91,000 a year. And in 2005, in that same year, the average chiropractor's was just over 5,000. These are numbers I know because I researched them for a class that I teach at Penn State, so I had to go look them up. It's been a couple years, I'm sure that's changed a little bit. But the point is there's an $86,000 difference there in our malpractice insurance. So if people were really getting hurt regularly or significantly or really at all for neck adjustments, you wouldn't see that kind of disparity. Somebody would be making a lot more money off of us. So these neck adjustments start the same way all the other adjustments in here start. We start with asking you how you've been doing since last time we saw you. Of course, I've got your health history and past complaints in the back of my head. What you can't see right now is Angie's x-rays are up over here on the view box. So while I'm looking at what's going on, I'm also looking at the x-rays for the information we found on there. I'm looking at postural irregularities, muscle asymmetry. Um, and then of course, I'm also doing the assessments. We, we have shown you in some of the other videos here. If this is the first video you've seen, you won't have seen these, but this is a heat meter I use to find swelling around the joints. Just like when you stub your toe, it swells up and it gets hot. It's because it's an injury, you get swelling and swelling produces heat. That inflammation is hot. If you ever took high school chemistry, you know when you get good chemical reactions going, there's gonna be heat produced. So that's another sign I'm looking for around the joints here. I'm looking to see what I see. I'm feeling whether the joints are moving or not. 
The point is, is we want to be as specific as we can about where we're delivering these adjustments. I'm trying to use five or six criteria here to make sure we're only adjusting you where you need to be and that we're giving you the right adjustment in the right direction so that you get better, better faster and you feel better faster. The other thing that kind of plays into the cervical adjustments here that isn't so much necessarily a comment in some of the other adjusting videos is that one of the things the Gonstead chiropractic technique, which is the technique I practice, is known for is for having very different neck adjustments. And I've got a whole other video on Gonstead too. You can go watch more about that if you're curious. The point here is a lot of people who've been to a chiropractor or have seen chiropractic adjustments on TV or movies or heard friends talk about them hear about the twisting, right? They hear about the neck getting twisted and that's how the joint gets moved. That is not the way the neck is adjusted in this technique. And there are a few reasons for that. The first is it is not the best biomechanical adjustment for you. It is not the best way to move that joint to help it heal and get better. So if you imagine two vertebrae with a disc between them, and you're kind of looking at them from the side here, the first thing a vertebra has to do when that misalignment occurs, in order for a misalignment to occur, is the vertebra drops back and down off that disc. It gets off center on the disc. The center of that disc is called the nucleus pulposus. It's a really big, thin, thick, dense glob of water and protein. And first it has to drop back and down, then it can rotate to either side, then it can wedge up on either side. But when you get adjusted with a lot of rotation in the neck, really all you're doing is revolving it around that disc and moving those two little facet joints in the back. You're not correcting the primary pathology, which is the mislocation of that vertebra on the nucleus. So in the Gonstead technique, which you'll notice here when I adjust Angie, is I'm adjusting her from straight behind and I'm trying to lift that vertebra and set it forward back up on top of the disc. So there, that's one reason you're not going to see rotation. The other reason is it's not quite as healthy for the neck. I mean, every adjustment is microtrauma. We're tearing scar tissue. We're moving anatomical parts. We're trying to get things to heal. But when you turn a neck and then you extend it and then you thrust through, if you imagine me holding back here and thrusting through, the direction of the fibers in the ligaments that support and surround the disc is on about a 30, 60 degree angle. It's that same angle that the person's arm is thrusting. So you're thrusting the direction of the fibers there and it makes it easier to injure those fibers. So again, it's not like people are having problems because of that, but we wanna get you better with this little micro trauma in the process. And the other thing is, as you can imagine, if you've never been adjusted, you probably know if you have, with somebody's hands already wrapped around your neck then having your neck turned, it's pretty hard to relax. And the more relaxed you are, the more effective the adjustment is going to be and the more comfortable it's going to be. So the reason we do the adjustment this way really is because it's the best adjustment anatomically, biomechanically. It's healthier, it's safer, it does less damage in the process of the adjustment, and because it's a lot more comfortable for most people. At least most people tell me that in general. Was that your experience? It was a little bit better than the rotation? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to change the camera position here a little bit so you can see this from a different angle. I'm actually going to adjust Angie's neck. So just like with the other adjustments, the first thing I'm going to do is count so I can determine which segment we're on. I'm going to check the x-ray so I know the exact direction of misalignment here. I'm going to contact the vertebra in such a way as I take a little skin slack out here. That way I actually move the vertebra instead of sliding her skin around. And I'm just going to let her relax her head back towards me. And over to the side I'm contacting on a little bit, which gets all the slack out of the joint. That way I actually move the joint. The other thing that's good to know here is that this is a fast adjustment. You don't have a rib cage or a lot of muscles stabilizing the neck, so it's harder just to move the one vertebra we want to move. It's kind of like that magician's tablecloth trick. If I'm fast, then the silverware doesn't move. So I'm going to have Angie take a nice deep breath way up into her shoulders. As she exhales, she's going to drop that right shoulder a little bit. And that's the neck adjustment right there. And so that's the essence of the cervical or neck adjustment. I want to thank Angie again for letting me adjust her for you guys today. It's hard for me to imagine with a general overview like this that you don't have some questions. Uh, we covered a lot of information today here. So if you've got questions, you can either post them below this video along with your comments. I will be checking back here regularly to, to answer those, address those for you. Or you can email me at my office through our website. You can call me on my lunch break if you want for a free, no cost, no obligation consultation. You can also wander around the website. We put a lot of time and energy into developing an extensive one there for you as a resource. You can subscribe to our blog. You can sign up for our free email newsletter. 
or you can just call our friendly staff at 466-2000 to schedule your first appointment. Whether you're in pain and trying to get out of it, or whether you want to try and avoid it in the first place, you will be glad that you did. Thanks for your time and blessings to you and yours.